Welcome back to Master Your Ash. I'm your host, Michael Prisdale, and tonight I will be smoking the Drac Redux 2 by Tatuaje. And this six and three quarter by 52 cigar is the Halloween release by Tatuaje for this year. It follows up the Frank Redux 1, which is what we had last year. One, signifying that that was the original monster release. Two, being that the Drac was the second monster release. And just like its original form factor, it is six and three quarters by 52 ring gauge. It is in the shape of a spear that you would impale a vampire with. Just like last year, it does come to us featuring an Ecuadorian Maduro wrapper over Nicaraguan binder and filler tobaccos. The blend on this particular drac, the Redux, was tweaked by Pete Johnson. He did say in an interview that it was tweaked specifically to create better balance. So not a huge tweak, just a little bit of a tweak to the binder and fillers, probably the proportions. Aromas off the foot of the cigar are abundant. There's definitely a ton of cocoa, huge amount of peaty earth and barnyard. So one of the things about smoking the Drac on the live stream, the initial lighting and flavor was abundant. Rich dark chocolate, nice leather, probably the very best leather that Tatuaje is known for, they put in the cigar. Their Sumatra wrappers, that seven Kappa Especial, that leather, that Sumatran kind of flavor that you get off of this Ecuadorian Maduro, it's there, it's abundant. You get the leather, you get the chocolate, the cocoa notes. Um, the barnyard is definitely on the finish with a slight hint of roasted meat slash barbecue, but mostly barnyard leaning on that side. Salinity kind of on the back end, nothing crazy. And the nuttiness is not, not too apparent at this point. One of the things that I brought onto the live stream that I kind of showcased was my old cigar dossier, the Tatuaje Frank in double Corona. And you'll have to forgive my chicken scratch because this is uh, not exactly the best handwriting in the world. But this says where I purchased it. The price was 13 bucks. It was an individual stick because I couldn't get a box from them. Um, last meal eaten in time. <laughs> and I just put the date that I smoked it in there. It was November 7th, 2008. And the rating that I gave the Frank was an 88. The smoke, the time smoke was, I can't, oh, two and a half hour smoke. Very consistent with little spice for flavor changes. Medium toasty, great construction. Uh, rarity and smoke time became an issue because I, uh, two and a half hours was a long smoke back then for me. <laughs> but uh, right underneath that, it's like the La Flor, uh, Dominicana, Double Lajero Chiselito. There's the La Gloria Artesian Toro. There's the Avo 787 Figurado. And these were all in November of 2008 that I smoked these. There's also an Oliva Serie V Figurado from 2008 that I smoked back then too. And then the original, the original La Requez, the original La Requez line right there in 2008. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of goodies in this book. Nub Connecticut, like El Triunfador, Tatuaje P label, the, the Rocky Sumatrans. Um, yeah, we can go on and on with this. Tatuaje Blacks, smoked a lot of tatuajes, that's for sure. And then an original Tatuaje white label P and a Room 101 Camacho manufactured. <laughs> because the, the Tatuaje Frank Redux that we did last year along with the Monster Mash talked a lot about just the Monster series in general and what it all meant to me and kind of the marketing, the significance behind it. And I'll definitely link those two videos so that those of you that want the opportunity to watch that, you can see that. We also have this year, we did the uh, Monster Mash Drac because we have the Drac Redux 2 here. And then I also smoked the Michael. So we're gonna have all of those videos. It's gonna be now five monsters, five different monster videos to watch. Just moving through the first third into the second third now on our Tatuaje Drac Redux 2. So far, 
the actual flavors, just not at full intensity, full strength, full power. And maybe that was the overall goal with tweaking the blend was to create something that had a little bit better balance, that was a little bit more nuanced and harder to pick out, but that also could age so well. And that's what I taste in this, is that there's like this hidden chocolate bar, there's this hidden nutty component, there's this hidden salinity. They're all present in their own way, they're just not in your face. And that could be by design, could just be because of the fact that they're very fresh and very new. And this is definitely gonna be a cigar that needs to be revisited down the road for Halloweens to come. And that's not a bad thing because we got a whole entire box of them, so <laughs> we can do that. As far as pairings go, I think that we still have a lot to pull out of this cigar, right? Totally nuanced flavors, nutty, salinity, chocolatey notes to it, along with that little hint of leather and barbecue barnyard oak. But in order to pull out some of those wonderful components, we have got something in our pocket here, and it is Dos Dues. This is red vermouth or Rosso or sweet vermouth coming to us from the Chopin distillery in Poland. And the beauty of this vermouth, for those that are unfamiliar, is that it is, meaning origins reserve, it is matured in sherry and priorette barrels, which is a Spanish wine barrel, Spanish wine region. It retails for about $25 per bottle. So not exactly the cheapest sweet vermouth, but a very complex one. And it is in homage to Athena or Minerva as the Roman goddess and Greek goddess who is labeled right here. It does contain a little bit of artificial caramel coloring to it, but it does have sherry cask aging along with red wine barrel aging to it. It's got all of this wonderful baking spice, complex sherry oak and red wine to it. Just, I mean, the, the aroma of the nose on this vermouth is fantastic. It's truly a vermouth that you can just drink by itself. For those that are unfamiliar, it is not the same as the vermouth, that, that dry vermouth that you're using in your martinis. Red vermouth is very fruit forward, usually has a, a nice amount of tannin and barrel oak to it, but it has extra sugar, complexity to it, not dry at all. And that's why it's typically referred to as sweet vermouth as opposed to a dry vermouth. And this is just, this is fantastic. Product of Spain, so it's distributed through Chopin, excuse me, distributed through Chopin. What it does to the cigar is it cuts through some of the arid, dry notes on this stick, which is really the only drawback. The finish on the cigar has remained medium at best. It slowly dwindled down to a short finish as we've gotten into the final third, and it's just very arid and dry, which is why I chose vermouth, because we do have that extra sugar content to kind of help us out. There are less Drax being produced this year in the Redux format than there were Redux Franks. So keep that in mind. If you do stumble on a couple at your local brick and mortar, I think that it's worthy of picking up a five pack. And I think that it's probably best to let them sit for a little while. This has been my review of the Tatuaje Drac Redux. I thank you all so much for liking, commenting, subscribing. I wish you all a very safe and happy Halloween. Thank you all so much for spending some time with me again this year and going through the Tatuaje monster line a little bit. I always have fun with this every single year and I just hope that you all do as well. So I look forward to catching you again for another monster review.